Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you are having a great 2021 so far. I know you've been waiting for this video for quite a while, but uh, just two things I want to mention before we jump into the outfits. Number one, I was completely overwhelmed by the number of submissions that we got. Hundreds of you guys sent in outfits to be featured in this video. And then number two, I was extremely impressed with the quality of what was submitted and just how great all the outfits were, which made it really difficult to choose which ones to feature. Uh, I'm going to go through them in no particular order, though I did make a list of some of my favorites, so you'll want to stick around till the end of the video to see if you made it onto my top 10. All right, let's get going now with our outfits. And okay, here we go. Up first, this is from uh, A Gentleman's World from Lahore, Pakistan. Far, far away. Thanks for submitting it. I love this outfit. The uh, safari jacket, belted safari jacket looks really awesome. I love the earth tones between the brown and the dark green turtleneck and the cream trousers. Really well put together. I love also the herringbone of the safari jacket. So really nice outfit there. It's thinking. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here is number two. This is Karen from at the Thrift Ensemble on Instagram. This is a neat take on a classic look. Uh, I like the duffel coat, and I particularly like the color of the duffel coat. Usually you see them in like a navy color, but I think this is a really nice um, contrast to the dressiness of the outfit to have the duffel coat uh, on top of it like that. Nice look. Next look here, this is Eamon. Uh, or Iman, I'm sorry if, if I got it wrong. Again, another great um, belted safari jacket. And this color is really, really cool. It's like a, I can't tell from the picture if it's a deep burgundy or like a chocolate color. But it's a really nice piece. And the scarf is just a really nice accent. And got a little bit of extra layering underneath. So that's a cool look. Here we go. This is number four. This is VD. I believe his name is Vlad. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> he's VD Style Point on Instagram. This is such a cool look. I mean, you can never go wrong with a flannel uh, Prince of Wales check during the winter time. But the real uh, awesome thing about this outfit, I mean, aside from the awesome plaid jacket, <laughs> is the mustard colored uh, turtleneck, which is a really, really great. Um, um, I don't know, I would even call it like a hero piece of this outfit, but I also love the addition of the white trousers. Very unexpected uh, winter choice, but one that stands out in a really great way. Look number five. Now, I have to say that as soon as I opened this photo up, I could not help but smile. It brought me so much joy, um, and you can really see it in his face. Really nice outfit. I love the cable knit cardigan, again with the um, camel colored coat over really well put together. And I think we're going to be seeing uh, kind of a trend here with the camel coat. It's always a good choice in the winter time. Nice hat. Also here we have Casper nice car, by the way, again, a really simple look and two things I actually want to point out, uh, here. Well, three, <laughs> two obvious, one less obvious. Uh, the, let's start with the, the most obvious ones, the boots, really great uh, addition there. And then the olive coat is nice as well. I like I like adding in those earth tones. But the one thing I really want to point out, and if you can see here, he's doing, he's got the shirt under the turtleneck, which from time to time I will do. It's, it's not a style move that everyone can pull off, but I think it looks really good here. Here we have Osman, our seventh look. This is a really nice outfit. I like the um, color of the sweater layer underneath. I think it really pops in a nice way. The coat is really cool. I wish I could zoom in and see the, the texture of it because I feel like it has a really nice texture as well. And I like using the scarf here, the silk scarf, as an accent to everything. It brings in the color of the tie really well on the end, so that's really nice. And the thing to know about scarves, which... Osman obviously knows is that they're both practical and aesthetic and using it very well here in an aesthetic uh, setting. 
or in an aesthetic way, aesthetic setting. <laughs> Number eight, uh, I don't have this gentleman's name, but on Instagram, he is Artismo. So really nice, simple look, the tie. Uh, creating some contrast with the green against all of the blues. And I like how the scarf brings in, kind of ties together all the navy colors that he has working in the outfit. Number nine, this is Trey. Nice cable knit sweater, perfect for winter. And then I like the kind of uh, more casual uh, bomber jacket that he has over that. Again, in a tan color, nice pop when you have like a darker uh, overall outfit there. Nice. Number 10, this is Jonathan doing a really cool monochromatic thing with brown. I love brown, so obviously I love this look. One of my favorite parts about it, other than the layered uh, puffer vest, is the snow white turtleneck. Such a great option. I think white, as I said already, is such a underrated winter, unexpected winter color option. Our next photo here, this is Johan. He is at sartorial underscore fin with two N's on Instagram. When I first saw this look, I was like, oh, he's wearing a double-breasted suit. But then when I look closer, it's like I can see that it's actually a double-breasted um, waistcoat. So a three-piece suit here. That color flannel suit is so classic for winter. Um, Two-inch cuff. This is like such a well-put-together look. And I love the coat. I looks like it's a houndstooth pattern but such a great contrast with the solid of the shirt and then some nice pattern mixing with the stripe of the tie this is stefan our 12th uh, picture here i love the look monochromatic gray boots kind of give it a more winter look and feel with the scarf um, turtleneck you can't go wrong and this setting is really cool so if you're watching johan let me know where this is this is really nice Oh, sorry, Stefan, excuse me. <laughs> All right, one thing I want to mention, this is Edvard, and one thing I want to mention here um, is that when he sent this image in, he said that he has a lot of social media shyness, so I uh, appreciate him sending this in. This is a great, um, for me, a really great uh, execution of like casual or dressing up a, ca a ca more casual look. So I've got the white sneakers, khaki pants, and then the turtleneck is a great way to, to kind of elevate that a little bit. Number 14 here, we have Christian wearing some high-rise mid-gray flannel trousers, perfect for the season, dark turtleneck. And one thing I like about this, it's hard to tell from the, the picture here, but I can't tell if this is like a top coat that you have or... Um, like a more like a work shirt or something um either way it looks really good and i like the juxtaposition of all the um, items that you have here here we have farhad who looks like he might have been shopping for um <laughs> a coat here if you were i hope you bought that because it looks really good on you um chukka boots are nice um really great casual outfit 16 here is john and got the shearling kind of more casual coat. I can't tell if it's denim or not, um, but the roll jeans. And then what I really want to point out with, with this look is the way that the suede boots complement the, or bring in the color of the turtleneck that he's wearing. So this is a really great casual look. And again, kind of elevated by the turtleneck. Here we have, this is number 17, and this is Daniel. Don't know if this is Daniel's goat um, <laughs> or, or he was just visiting a goat farm, but um, I included this because um, I really like it's just it's super casual and there's a goat. So it's like a, a cool, a cool photo. And then the hunter boots, which I've considered for uh, myself, but I've never pulled the trigger on them. I only have um, like these L.L. Bean boots and moccasins. The boots are kind of difficult to put on, though they work. And the moccasins aren't really great for um walking in the snow so if you like them let me know in the comments and um, I might consider picking up a pair for myself <laughs> here we have 18 and this is Julian uh, camel coat double breasted can't go wrong there I personally like the addition of the hat as an accent on top and then the boots and then the 
best part here is the pattern sweater. I can't tell if it's a Fair Isle, but it looks like a very seasonal pattern, so really like that. Here we have Jamin or Hamin or Hamin. I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right, um, but this is a really nice look. I like the lapels of the jacket, brown. It looks like it's in a nice heavy tweed or wool. Um, and not everyone can pull off orange, but I think in, you do it really well. And this outfit in particular, the tie really kind of brings everything together and makes it a little more interesting than it would if it just was like a, like a brown tie or something like that. Here we have number 20, and this is Jake with a very classic, simple outfit, kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of, um, Robert Redford in Three Days of the Condor. It's very, very, uh, it's just cla it's a classic look, and I, I've been watch I've been watching a lot of like old Redford movies, and he has such great style. One thing I like about this that makes it different is the coat, the pea coat. Usually we see them in navy, but this is in a nice olive green, which is a nice change. And then that earth tone, the way he brought in uh, more earth tones with the brown of the sweater, and then again making sure that the boots pull in that color is a really great option. I think I think they're chukka boots. Those are nice suede chukka boots. Here we go, number 21. This is long. Not everyone can pull off uh, a suit like this, double-breasted in a wine or burgundy color, uh, but I think it looks awesome on you. And I love the loafers. The fit is really good. Um, and the white turtleneck really kind of makes it seasonal in a very festive way. Okay, here we have number 22, Drake's collection. I don't know if your name is Drake or you like love Drake's uh, clothing <laughs> and accessories, but either way, this is a really nice casual look. What really makes it for me is the marl on the turtleneck. It gives it a uh, level of depth and visual interest that I think is really great. Um, you'll have to let us know down in the comments where that's from. And then I believe those are some Chelsea boots uh, with a nice roll. So really great elevated, more casual style look here. Number 23 is Nicholas, who looks like he been shopping at Brooks brothers from the bag. <laughs> I like the, the kind of combination of more casual and dressy here with the shearling denim jacket and the, uh, cardigan underneath the great layering piece. And again, I love how you guys are like, kind of pulling in that middle layer with the color of the shoes. Um, a nice, uh, you have got a really nice, um, like more casual boot here, which I think this whole outfit is just really well put together and a really easy, casual, elevated casual look that you could wear. Exactly like if you're going out shopping like you are. Here we have number 24. Don't know this gentleman's name. He is Sartoriazza on Instagram, but one thing I really wanted to point out here is the way he's mixed a more casual jacket with, uh, it looks like more military inspired. I don't think it's a barber jacket because of the epaulets, but um, more military inspired jacket with a classic suited look. I think it's, um, it's something that I um, want to tr start doing a little bit more myself. I think this is really sort of on trend at the moment um, in a good way. Uh, I typically don't like trends, but this this is a really nice look, and I love the combination of the two. Here's Daniel with the camel overcoat, turtleneck. And then one thing I really want to point out here that I like that kind of makes this look like a great elevated casual look is the color of the jeans. Like if you did dark denim, they would kind of blend in a little bit and dress it up a little bit more. But choosing that sort of mid color denim, I think gives it a really nice look and it really pops between the turtleneck and the coat and matches really well with the, the, the overall vibe and feel of the boots. Number 26, this is uh, Professor K. Kenny. And this is like such a cool look that I personally could not pull off, but he does it so well. I like the, it's kind of like a chalk stripe 
flannel trouser, but it's more casual, I think, because of the, um, looks like it has a drawstring there. And then the, the shirt has a band collar, which I haven't seen band collars in quite a while, but this looks really cool. The jacket is, it, I can't tell if it's like a, like an over shirt or a jacket or a cardigan with a patch pockets, but it looks really nice. Everything just pulls together really well. And the green, uh, green, <laughs> the yellow of the beanie kind of really matches the tan, not matches, but complements the tan of the pants in a really great way. So I like this look a lot. Here we have Thomas or Tomas sending this look, great camel overcoat. Again, we've got some white jeans, I believe, or maybe they're, maybe they're chinos or kind of a cotton pant, but great. Again, I'll say it again, <laughs> um, a great kind of unexpected winter choice. And then the earth tones with the shirt underneath, dark green color and the kind of oxblood derby-ish boots, I think, um, looks really well put together. This is Jean showing us how to do the classic menswear uniform with the flannel pants, navy blazer, um, striped shirt with a little bit more of a candy stripe, which is a nice choice, I think. And then the tie, really great overall look. I mean, this is pretty much a masterclass on how to do the classic menswear uniform look. Here we've got Dewan, hear from Dewan all the time, and I appreciate you sending in this photo. Really easygoing look here with uh, you know just a layered sweater. Simple, classic, very well done. Here we have Thorbjorn, I hope I said that right, with a cool, casual, multi-layered look. Um, I think I'm counting one a turtleneck, one zip-up cardigan, two suit jacket, three, and then jacket. So there's four layers there. Um, keeping it casual with the keeping it casual with the shoes and sneak or sneakers, I should say. And again, like pulling that color in from the turtleneck, that, that like innermost layer. And I really like the, the plaid, subtle plaid of the jacket, which really kind of pops against this more muted uh, color scheme. This is Enish with a classic peacoat, simple scarf tie, black jeans. I used to call them, I still, I guess I still call them, you know, your alternative dress pant. Uh, really simple, classic look. Well done. Don't know this gentleman's name, although I believe Instagram, he is Oceans911. That's the number nine and the word 11. Um, power suit here, <laughs> which, you know, pinstripe, red tie, you know, totally means business. But I like the addition of the camel, camel coat just to give it, maybe dress it down a little bit if that's even possible. But it, it's a nice contrast and has a nice pop to it. Number 33. We've got Martin. I love these trousers that you've got. The layered denim jacket with a turtleneck underneath. That's such a good, good choice. Um, again, we've got a subtle plaid on the overcoat. Really pops. Keeping it more casual with the sneakers. And then a really nice kind of newsboy uh, hat, which looks great here. Number 34, we have Benaisa. Really simple, easy Again, kind of elevated casual thing going on. I like the turtleneck. The coat is more of like an oatmeal, kind of grayish color, I guess. Um, maybe a little bit of a marl to it, which which makes it really pop against the rest of the outfit. Rolled jeans with boots. Can't go wrong with that. Here we have Eric sending an awesome picture um, with what I would call like a Hollywood gray. I can't tell if it's a flannel suit or if it's more of a fresco but either way <laughs> it looks great it's hard to pull off i think sometimes that lighter colored suit but the addition of the coat is like the color the way like the color kind of grades between the suit to the coat is really really nice and then i can't really see but there is some sort of subtle pattern on the tie which i mean this is just this is just such a great really well put together look with some interesting elements that stand out in a very subtle way. If that even makes sense. <laughs> this is Ivan or Ivan. 
another great casual look, white sneakers, light denim jeans. And then two things that like kind of elevate this are of course the more kind of chunky cable ish, uh, turtleneck. And then the marl of a coat, which is really nice color combo. Such, so classic, but it looks real fresh here. And the, uh, kind of olive green hat really, um, adds something a little bit of contrast and something unique to it. I think that works really well with this outfit. Here we have another great execution of like the classic menswear uniform with a little bit more prep. Um, so we've got that Glenn Platt or Prince of Wales check jacket. That's really nice. Got to know where you got that. So leave a comment down below. Um, I really like the fox tie, that kind of emerald green color really pops the brown the lighter color browns that you have it really works so well with and instead of like gray trousers you kind of went with like an oatmeal or like i think they call it like biscuit that's a really nice choice um, this is a really great look i might have to cop that at some point here is 38 this is will coming at us with a super casual look again like the best like most interesting or one of the most interesting things about this look is the like fisherman's kind of cable knit cream colored sweater always a great option and then keeping it more casual with i believe those are dark denim or black jeans and the uh, brown of the boots really pairing well with the brown of the leather jacket super cool like this outfit a lot here we have i've looked for your name but i couldn't find it <laughs> but uh, this is gent of dc uh, which i live in baltimore so he's not too far uh, away and if you're uh, if you're watching this video like send me a note or send a leave a comment because we should hook up at some point I like this look because of the use of the chunky shawl color cardigan as an alternative to a blazer you've got like a really dressy pant in the chalk stripe I assume that's flannel and the navy um, turtleneck this is a great like it's it's just a really good like dressed down more casual laid back kind of sophisticated way to do it with the the um, cardigan layered over that like that. But what what I really like here is like the extra step that he went to take with the pocket square to make it really show to really show you that this is like he's wearing it as a blazer alternative. I've never seen that before. Uh, so it's really cool. Um, really cool here and then our last outfit here i had to include this is our good friend han han is like han is a super fan i love i love his comments all the time if you if you watch the videos you've definitely seen han's comments he sent this in really nice overcoat burberry scarf i think he said it was, this was a trip he took recently so hope that it, uh, you had a good time there when you were there thanks for sending it in so I know that I said I had rounded up my top 10 favorite, and that is actually over on the website. There's a link to it right over there, so hop over there and see if you made it on to the top 10 list. We're going to keep doing this, so uh, from time to time, I think maybe the next time will be in spring, but thank you to everyone who sent outfits in, and we'll see you over on the website and in the next video.